we have and tonight is the the night of Zamzam, anybody who can get some Zamzam, drink the Zamzam that four times a year Mawlana Shah Naqshaban is, is asking from Allah and making a special du'a that those whom are drinking on those nights with that intention that Allah dress them, bless them and forgive them that to be dressed from that secret. Alhamdulillah these are Kawthari Ahlul Bayt. They carry the realities of the kawthar, they're dripping the kawthar and know that when we drink from that reality the kawthar is quenching every organ, every reality within the heart and with the soul. We pray that all of its knowledges and secrets and blessings dress us, our family and our communities inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. And if you don't have zamzam then just take water and make intention, Ya Rabbi you're great, Ya Rabbi Izzati wa Zammati wa Jabaroot, that turn my water that from wherever it is Ya Rabbi to be from your zamzam realities so that I can partake in the blessings of my shaykh and, and this immensity of his birth and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bi hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Ameen. And then you drink from that water. Ameen. What do we got? Anybody out there? As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Can you please speak on the reality of the number three? 113 and its relation to the star of Sayyidina Suleiman. Hmm. That's a whole nother so bad. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> From 313 we go a little bit in this understanding that 3 plus 1 plus 3 is the secret of 7. They inherit from the seven awliyaullah who hold the seven essences of the Divinely Face. That everything perishes but the Divinely Face. From these seven essences Allah has seven awliya souls that they carry that attribute and reflect that out. From those seven they reflect to the 313 a reality from Risalat that out of 124,000 messengers of or Prophets of Allah 313 were messengers that Allah gave to them a message to deliver. As a result of that it's a different activation of knowledges because when Allah give you a message to deliver there must be something within you to deliver to people. So then those 313 who are messengers of Allah they give from their reality to 313 awliyaullah. And so out of 124,000 awliya on this earth 313 are continuously conveying the message of Allah and inspired by those Prophets for the Muhammadan haqqaiq and message of Allah To the degree not all are talking from Haqqiqat al-Muhammadiyyah but from a lesser ocean to the greater oceans but all of it is from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And they teach that reality of 313 on how to activate the star. So what we just described was the process of the star, that to be a diya, that don't be happy with your physical light that you accepted Islam only, that's a light that came to you. But Allah said, you didn't reach your eternity and you didn't reach to be a star which the star is an eternal 
and a gaseous reality that loses its mass. So then these 313 they carry the secret of that star and they understand the reality that we are of two triangles. One triangle up for La ilaha illallah and has to do with your soul's reality and the other triangle that Allah revealed upon this earth Muhammadan Rasul Allah that come to tame the physical being of insan. So we have an upper reality and that's why the upper body is with the heart and the soul's emanation tanzila means that this always emanating onto the upper part of insan. Then the lower triangle which Prophet is in charge to bring the discipline for insan from beginning of time to the end of time so that they are perfect worshippers. That's why we're the whole thing of inspiring all the Prophets. Why? Because Prophet wants all the Prophets to be successful in bringing creation back to, to Allah So then they have to understand this La ilaha illallah and the secrets that are coming to the soul and then when Allah brings for Muhammadan Rasul Allah that Allah Isma Allah, Allah Isma Jalal the, the might and magnificent name of Allah is to be brought to insan to bring the fire of their bad character down. So many deep realities on that reality and that Prophet has come to bring the discipline and to bring the good characteristics and to lock the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. So when the two come together it forms the star and what they call Najm al Dawood, Najm al Sulaiman which is all owned by Najm Sayyidina Muhammad And this is the star that represents the birth of light and guidance. When they're taught and they're put within the discipline of how to open these realities and how to discipline the physicality then these two come together and that one becomes a najm. And as a result of their najm and, and the star within them, the sun within them then the guidance we, they give like what we just described because when the najm gives guidance it burns and heats people as they're talking. That's why many people run away. It's not something easy, don't be worried about who comes and who goes, it's like a door that you see at the thing but not everybody's meant to sit all the time. Some people have a tolerance for all their life Allah will give to them that they can take the burning, they can take it and others have one week where they can take only so much of that information their wujud burns and they're running. So it's not that, it's not easy. So then that, that star when it begin to send information it burns through into the heart of insan and into their soul and wujud inshaAllah. But we have much more deeper articles on, online inshaAllah on the star and its realities and, and how to, to fight that it comes to, to dispel that. What we said was your, your ilm and the knowledge you have, the anger that enters into the heart, ignorance and anger create a fire. So now the earth is based on ignorance, anger within their heart and a fire on their lower body and everything is just fiery and, and based on their, their desires. So how to take ignorance away and how to take the fire out of your heart so that it's ishq and, and faith and anger and fire have to be extinguished. So the anger within the heart has to be taken out. The fire within the wujud has to be and the desires have to be taken out. So the only thing that takes ignorance away is Islam. So then who brings Islam is Sayyidina Muhammad right? So the bringing of Islam takes away ignorance. They don't know what a UFO is, watch their TV shows and what are they talking about? Prophet 1500 years ago dispelled all this ignorance them all these realities, why they don't want to give it to people? Because they're illuminated, hmm. <laughs> their concept of illuminated 
is that they know and keep everybody to be ignorant. So they know the power of the Qur'an, it's in all of their temples. They know it's secret, they don't want the mass to know that. No but Prophet represents the heavens and says, no this is the, he- this is the deen of Allah everyone has to know it. Islam comes to take away ignorance. You read and you read the hadith, there's no more ignorance, we know everything happening on this earth was written and, and, and described. Then what comes to take away the, the anger within the heart is iman. So if the heart is taught to have iman and faith, faith is love. Have good character is love. If the heart is void of love it has no faith. You cannot describe to me to the end of time that I have faith and you're an angry. It's impossible, there's no faith. Faith is a gift from Allah which is called love. You can have cracks in your faith but you have to have a loving nature because that's the gift that Allah gives into the heart of insan. They have love, they have compassion, they're struggling to keep their faith, to keep the way. As a result of their Islam and the real Islam with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and following the tariqahs, Allah grants them love and muhabbat. And then what happens? They're now in a way towards maqamul ihsan. Islam, iman, maqamul ihsan. Maqamul ihsan is they took a path of perfection. That light of perfection begins to extinguish all the bad desires. All the very bad uncontrollable desires that now they horrifically abuse each other to accomplish that desire. All of that maqam al ihsan extinguishes that reality and that's why they become a star because all of the lower is disciplined and the higher reality is shining through them for their paradise reality. And say, who's the kingdom of God? You think it's really the people having a football party with beer and alcohol and pork in the back of their truck at a football stadium and they say, we represent the kingdom of God. You think the kingdom of God looks like that? Or the people who are in Ramadan are fasting and their lips are all parched and for 30 days they haven't eaten in, in front of people and they go through heat and they go through difficulty for the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is very obvious if you look around. Click the link now to subscribe.